What if you could add a blind spot monitoring system for your Tesla Model 3 or Y? Let me show you how with this quick upgrade. This is what comes in the box, the actual blind spot monitoring system gadget. One on the left and one on the right. And then the OBD port harness, which we're gonna connect to the car. I'll show you on the installation. And then this prying kit. Let's so the very first step is really to just pry open this panel right here. Let's use this tool with the prying tool that they provide. You just put this away and do the same thing over here. Use this prying tool that will give us room for installation. See how it popped up so easy? And then you just naturally secure this. We're also going to use this tool to pry open this plastic screw. There you go. And don't be afraid to go ahead and take this out, guys. It will make the installation area a lot easier. So just put that out there, this rubber portion. Once you got this rubber portion out, it allows you to give you space to pop this panel out right here, all the way. Yep. Put this away. We'll have to just put that back later. Very easy. They just go ahead and click. And now all we have to do is to basically connect our blind spot monitoring gadget to this OBD port right here. And I will show you the rest because it's super simple. A lot of you may feel intimidated in doing this, but I'm not a technician or a specialist. All you have to do is to connect the OBD port to this. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and push this tab right here. Push it in and then pull this out because this will basically be part of our connection. So again, this is the OBD port and this is the power that will help power our blind spot monitor. But to release it, you push this tab right here and then pull it up just like that. So that's one critical major step. Now, with our harness right here, this is the next step. You see this part right here? The smaller one and the bigger one. So this smaller one right here, I'll let you take a good look. And I'm using one hand between these two. The smaller part goes to this. So all you have to do is to match it. And again, between these two, that goes into this blue OBD port. And it's going to be the smaller one. Easy peasy, you just match it until it clicks. You heard that click properly, guys. Once we have connected these OBD port, we go back over here. So these two will go ahead and match these two that are part of our harness. So you go ahead and connect it. This is what it looks like and that. So this one that looks like with the hole, you just go ahead and connect it over here. Yep. Just like that. And then you push it in. Easy. And then what remains over here will go to that one right there. Yep. This goes into that right there. Let me show you. Yep. That just goes and slides down. And every time you connect these two cords, you always just want to hear that satisfying click. You heard that. All right, so now that all the connection is done, the OBD port onto this right here, 
this is left open for other accessories that you may need so you have an extra port because basically all these daisy chain to each other in case you add any more accessories and gadgets so now all we have to do is connect our blind spot system using this usb type c right here because this will basically be the power supply of it so let's grab our blind spot system connect it and let me show you how Ooh, all right so we got our blind spot gadget right here so it's gonna be powered up by this usb-c that will be connected to this port right here but I'm going to go ahead and plug that in later once we have installed it. You have to remember on this cord, uh, basically one is a short one and one is a long one. The short one is going to have to go here on the passenger side. The other blind spot is going to go to the other side on the corner right there. So this is the shorter one and you can tell because this is the end point right here. So this shorter one is basically just going to go right there. There's a little gap. So we'll go ahead and stick it in through right there. It goes like that. Yep. That just stays in the corner right there, guys. And I like to kind of make it angled towards that way so that I could actually see it from where my driving position is because this is the passenger side. So that's good. All right, so we are on the driver's side. We do the same thing. We use this frying tool to uninstall or take this panel out. That gives us a space to go ahead and take this dashboard out and it's really easy to do so uh, most of the teslas that don't have the screw over here you could just go ahead and pop it out i'll show you as you can see it just pops out like that all the way across and that gives us space to hide the cables guys all right so now that we have popped this part of the dashboard out we're gonna go ahead and just hide the cable of the longer one which is basically this one right here yep we're just gonna go ahead and hide the cable underneath it so it looks clean for those of you who have never done it before it is super easy i can assure you now it's just cable management because we want our cable to be completely hidden and that's the reason why i popped that dashboard so I'll go ahead and hide it underneath, get in there, and then pop the panel back in. I'll make it crawl across behind the touchscreen all the way to the other side. All right, we're on the other side here. You can see the cable underneath this panel right here. And we're going to go ahead and secure and click all this through perfectly. And then, as you can see, I opened up this panel, and this goes just right there you know there's that little gap that you just insert yep and you position it perfectly so that when you're driving it's like perfectly positioned like right there where you can see it again i like mine to be pointed towards me yeah a little angled towards me and same thing over there. It's angled so I can see easily. That way, right there. Yup. So now that we have these two left and right blind spots perfectly positioned, it's time to just hide this cable and then put this panel right back. So to pop this panel back, you just really have to align everything and give it some pressure and you will hear that satisfying click and when you do the panel is completely secure 
All right, I'm on the passenger side. You hear that satisfying click, guys? Little pressure, a little gentle pressure. That's it. And now it's all just cable management. We got this one on the passenger side. That's perfect because it's looking towards the driver. Same as that one right there. No more cables across because we hit it. Very clean install. Now, the only thing we need to do is to go ahead and find that cord. Which is gonna be this cord right here. And connect it to this, to type C. Right there. Yep. That's connected. So after I go ahead and cover this up and clean this up, and it's very easy to do, you know, you just do your best to put it all right back in one place, put this rubber back, put the panel back, and we'll be good to go. And we can test out this blind spot sent to us by Test Studio. So as you can see, this panel simply goes right back here. And this panel right here covers this up right here. Yep. And these plastic panels don't ever break because they're held by clips. So you just have to align it to cover and clean this up. So I put back the screw over here, the plastic screw, and we just align it right there to its proper hole where it belongs and give it a proper pressure. Boom. So All right, we got the screw popped back in perfectly in place as you can see. And now it's time to just put these rubber right back where it belongs. Yep, you just have to do it tightly, accordingly. All right, some video may not show you how to put this right back, but I figure I'd show you like a little step-by-step -step way. First, we put this panel back, then we put the rubber back, and then this part, and then the cover over here. All right, we line this panel back up, just like that. So it's all coming together, guys. This is the last piece. Put all the rubber portion apart. Put it right back here. Really from here, you just pop it right back. It's perfect. In case there's a little bit of cord hanging out here, you can use this pry tool to just kind of push it in. So as you can see, it looks perfectly neat and clean. Let's go to the other side. So you can see you just align this as well and then give it some pressure and like the other side you will see a little bit of cord here you just use this prying tool to push that in to hide it yep and as soon as you plug this usb type c power cord onto this power box right here this square power unit, you could tell the blinking red pops indicating that there's power. So let's go test it out on the road. All right, if there's a car oncoming, it turns solid orange, warning me that there is a car on my blind spot on the passenger side. And then if I go ahead and make a turn signal, it also turns and blinks green. That's me turning my signal to the right. Alright, I'm kind of slowing down a little to let the car to my left side pass. So you're going to see this turn on. That means that there's a car on my blind spot on my left side. As soon as it passes, it turns off. Wow, I'm really loving this gadget. That's nice. That's the car that just passed me here. Let's go ahead and test uh, the right side, the passenger side now. I have another car behind me. He's going to be passing me by on my right side. All right. Let's see. All right. It actually works 100% of the time. And I'm loving 
need a warning signal. It's just a light that gives you a heads up that there is a car oncoming right on your blind spot on the passenger or driver's side. And I also like the fact that when I turn my signal, let me switch to the right lane over here, it gives me that indicator as well. I didn't know it had that feature. Oh. All right, let's go ahead and just go for a drive around the neighborhood here just to kind of test it out. Man, I'm loving this. All right, there's gonna be another car on my left side here. Let's see, it work. Oh, it works very much 100% of the time. I'm gonna go ahead and um, drive this and test this gadget for a week and then I'll finish up the video to see my one week experience with the car. But after installation and after taking it for a drive, I'm very much satisfied. It is very handy, it is very useful, especially when driving. And until then, I'll check back with you guys next week to report my one week experience with this Test Studio gadget. All right, so I have been driving my car with the Test Studio Blind Spot gadget installed for a week now. And I have to say, my overall score for this gadget for the price that it is, is 5 out of 5. If you're new to this channel, I only feature gadgets that are very useful and handy, that provides great value for an affordable price. And when Test Studio reached out to me, I knew that the blind spot system is something that Tesla does not have built into their cars, at least for the 2023 model and older. You know, the newer ones may have it now, the 2025 and all newer models. But the 2023 and older models, Tesla Model 3 or Y, this gadget is actually very, very useful and handy. It's something that you use that can be helpful in your daily driving on the main roads and highway and traffic jams as it provides you a visual alert that there is cars on your blind spot, right side or left side. And I love the fact that it doesn't chime. I mean, it visually alerts you, but it doesn't have a sound because Tesla in itself already has a sound for its alarm on speed limit chime and turn signal chime and all of those things. So this visual Like it turns bright orange and for me that's like a very good color that is not too overly bright and it gives you a green turning signal, an added feature. So overall, do I recommend this Test Studio Blind Spot product? Absolutely, 100%. If you have the money, I'm going to go ahead and link this product on the description below. I'm going to add my coupon code, help support the channel and at the same time it gives you a discount. And until then, I want to thank everybody for watching this channel. I want to thank Test Studio for sending me this product. And I ended up loving it. And I know it's a, an affordable product that gives me an instant upgrade, an added feature for an already great car in the Tesla Model 3. So once again, guys, I do apologize if the installation is kind of not really up to par to my standard. I didn't have a cameraman. And I kind of just really did it one hand, which really shows you how easy it is. Like, I did it with one hand holding the phone to provide a visual instruction on how to use it. Just use the pry tool they give me. And if you know how to plug cords, you know how to plug your cell phone into a charger, you know how to disconnect and connect cables. And you just need to learn where to plug it to. And after that, you just need to basically hide the cords simply by popping the instrumental panel, the dashboard, which is very, very easy. I hope I showed you guys a good illustration. Till then, my name is Adrian. If you like this video and install or the product, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, or comment your thoughts below. And I'll see you guys on the next episode. Adrian out. Peace.